हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर सीरीज ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ड्रेनेज सिस्टम अंडर दिस टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ ड्रेनेज सिस्टम रिवर पैटर्न्स हिमालयन रिवर सिस्टम पेनिनसुलर रिवर सिस्टम इवोल्यूशन ऑफ द ड्रेनेज सिस्टम रिवर रिजाइम एंड वे फॉरवर्ड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ड्रेनेज सिस्टम फर्स्ट इज सीक्वेंट ड्रेनेज सिस्टम इट हैज द फॉलोइंग फोर टाइप्स consequent streams they are the first to be originated in a particular region these follow the regional pattern they are also called dip streams subsequent streams they originate after the master consequent stream and usually join it at the right angle obsequent streams the streams flowing in opposite direction to the master consequent are called obsequent streams and resequent streams the tributary streams flowing in the direction of the master consequent are called resequents since they are of recent origin and hence they are called resequent second is in sequent drainage system it is of two types antecedent and superimposed antecedent drainage system antecedent streams are those which are originated prior to the upliftment of land surface examples of antecedent streams are found in almost all of the folded mountains of the world many himalayan rivers are antecedent streams example the indus the satluj the ganga the ghagra the kali the gandak the kosi the brahmaputra etc superimposed system when the characteristics of the valleys and flow direction of a consequent stream developed on the upper strata are superimposed on the lower strata of different characteristics now let's discuss about river patterns first is trellis pattern when the primary tributaries of rivers flow parallel to each other and secondary tributaries join them at right angles it is known as trellis dendritic pattern the drainage pattern resembling the branches of a tree is known as dendritic example the rivers of northern plain rectangular pattern tributary system joins the main stream at right angle but the confluence angle is determined by the weakness of the rocks radial drainage when the rivers originate from a hill and flow in all directions example rivers from amarkantak range centripetal pattern when the rivers discharge their waters from all directions in a lake or depression the pattern is known as centripetal annular pattern when the tributaries of the master consequent streams are developed in the form of a circle barbed drainage when the tributaries flow in opposite direction to their master streams the tributaries join their master streams in a hook shaped bend and parallel drainage it comprises numerous rivers which are parallel to each other and follow the regional slope now let's have a look at the himalayan river system the himalayan drainage system has evolved through a long geological history it mainly includes the ganga the indus and the brahmaputra river basins Since these are fed both by melting of snow and precipitation rivers of this system are perennial these rivers pass through the giant gorges carved out by the erosional activity carried on simultaneously with the uplift of the himalayas besides deep gorges these rivers also form v shaped valleys rapids and waterfalls in their mountainous course while entering the plains they form depositional features like flat valleys oxbow lakes flood plains braided channels and deltas over the plains they display meandering tendency and shift their courses frequently due to which river kosi is known as the sorrow of bihar now let's discuss about peninsular river system the drainage system is older than the himalayan one this is evident from the broad largely graded shallow valleys and the maturity of the rivers the western ghats running close to the western coast act as the water divide between east flowing and west flowing rivers most of the major peninsular rivers except narmada and tapi flow from west to east peninsular rivers are characterized by fixed course absence of meanders and non perennial flow of water the narmada and the tapi which flow through the rift valley are however exceptions now moving on to evolution of the drainage system Geologists believe that a mighty river called Shivalik or Indo-Brahma traversed the entire longitudinal extent of the Himalaya. It is opined that Shivalik River was dismembered into three main drainage systems: 
the Indus, the Ganga and the Brahmaputra system. The disembarment was probably due to the Pleistocene upheaval in the western Himalayas and the Delhi Ridge. Three major geological events in the distant past have shaped the present drainage systems of peninsular India. Subsidence of the western flank of the peninsula leading to its submergence below the sea during the early tertiary period. Upheaval of the Himalayas when the northern flank of the peninsular block was subjected to subsidence. Slight tilting of the peninsular block from northwest to the southeastern direction. Now let's discuss about river regime. The pattern of flow of water in a river channel over a year is known as its regime. North Indian rivers originating from Himalayas are perennial rivers as they are fed from glaciers and the rainfall. The rivers of the southern India do not originate from glaciers and their water flow fluctuate. The flow increases significantly during the rainy season and drops in the dry season. River Kaveri shows comparatively less fluctuation than the other peninsular rivers. It carries water throughout the year since its upper catchment area receives rainfall during the southwest monsoon season and the lower part during the northeast monsoon season. Now lastly, let's discuss about the way forward. Indian rivers carry a huge volume of water, but it is unevenly distributed. We witness the floods in Bihar and droughts in Maharashtra at the same time. During the rainy season, much of the water is wasted in floods and flows down to the sea. We should manage the water efficiently. River linking projects should be carried out and watershed management programs should be implemented. Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, prelims question. Consider the following statements regarding drainage system in India. 1. Many Himalayan rivers are antecedental. 2. Peninsular rivers are mostly perennial. 3. Peninsular rivers are older than Himalayan rivers. Which of the above statements are correct? 1 and 2 only, 2 and 3 only, 1 and 3 only or 1, 2 and 3. Now let's note down the main question. Why have the rivers of peninsular India well-defined rigid channels in sharp contrast to the Himalayan rivers? Explain. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.